Hello, and welcome to Silicon Valley Girls Chat Over Tea. I'm Gloria. And I'm Rosetta. And thanks everyone for tuning again to our weekly chats. Yes. We're so excited this week. We have a lot that we want to discuss. We have a computer. You know we got a lot to talk well, about. <laughs> yes, we do. We don't want to miss anything. But yes. first, we're going to talk about what we're drinking. And today we're drinking this organic hibiscus berry tea and it's from whole foods organic and it's uh flayed it's herbal tea so that's already caffeine free and the ingredients i'm gonna read are hibiscus oh my god my eyesight is so bad gloria you better read this okay darling. can you believe i know okay so we have organic hibiscus orange rose hip organic licorice organic orange peel organic roast chicory organic dried apple, natural flavor, organic natural flavor, organic dried strawberries, and organic dried raspberries. So everything is organic. Yes. And we've had it seeping for a while. Yes. But again, this is another great one because as soon as you take it out of the packet, oh, it smells you can amazing. Smell. Oh my God. You can smell so it already. So we're going to just dunk it a bit. Ooh. Oh, I can already smell it. Yes, it's amazing. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Delicious. Mm, yummy. You can really taste it. And especially teas that have licorice, especially the whole foods one. Yes. The longer you seep it and it starts to get a bit colder, not yes. as hot, the flavors of the licorice are even in, are heightened even more. Absolutely. So you can really, really smell it. And we had planned to, you know, do something really fun. Um, I actually brought in some Girl Scout lemon up cookies it's this the is a, season yes they're girl scouts everywhere you go you can't get away from those cute little girls they're adorable um and i don't normally buy girl scout cookies because of the ingredients um it's hard to resist those so that's why i always buy them and bring them to wherever i yes, am yes i haven't share. purchased them in many many years yes. not because of well, back in the days, I used to buy them, but because the price went up so much. Yeah. Right now, it's like um, a little box of the Lemon Ups. You get two rows of either five or six cookies. So anywhere from 10 to 12 cookies for five bucks. So that's like, you know, somewhere between 40 and 50 cents a cookie. A little high. Um, I think if as an organization, they're going to continue to do that, they should fix it so that we can use that as a tax deductible purchase sure. because they're not cheap anymore and you know the thing about it that also the reason I wouldn't buy them before is they had partially hydrated oils and high fructose corn syrup well they had put on their website oh we don't do that anymore no more there's a statement when you click go we went to their website the yes. official website yes and we looked into what was in the ingredients and they have a statement that says they don't have high fructose corn syrup, but we looked and the one that we saw was the peanut butter patties called Tagalongs and yes. Lori is gonna read some of the ingredients. Yes, so we have sugar, peanut butter. Sugar is your number, number one, one ingredient, the first okay. ingredient. Not, not the flour, but the sugar. So as a cook, just think about, you're gonna put more sugar than anything else. The second is peanut butter. And what they do is in parentheses, they go peanuts, comma, palm oil, comma, corn syrup solids, comma, salt. That's what makes up the peanut butter. Then we have enriched flour, which is wheat flour, niacin, and reduced iron, uh, thiamine uh, mononitrate, uh, riboflavin, folic acid. Then we have vegetable oil, shortening palm and palm kernel oils, cocoa, and the cocoa says processed with alkali, high fructose corn syrup, ding, ding, ding. Then we have uh, leaving, leavings, which is the baking powder, um, excuse me, the baking soda, the monocalcium phosphates, soy lecithin, salt, natural and artificial flavor. So that's what we just wanted to highlight, highlight is yes. that they specifically have a little statement when we look at one of the other cookies, if we can find it, I'm not sure where we saw it, but it says none of their products have high fructose corn syrup. And we wanted to show that they do, yes. which is very odd that they would put that statement in. Which one was it? I think it was the, um, right there, the peanut butter sandwich. 
Okay, so we're gonna look at the peanut butter sandwich one. And this is just uh, peanut butter in between the sandwich that's not covered in chocolate. Yes, and this one, those are called do -si dos and do -si dos We will scroll down and see the, the bottom. Uh, and it has okay, okay so it has this um disclaimer disclaimer all of our cookies have no high fructose corn syrup no heart partially hydrated oils p h o little s zero grams trans fat per serving and rspo certified mass balanced palm oil and we didn't know what that meant because i know as a certified health coach palm oil is not that great for you because it's high in saturated oils right. i mean you should I mean, it's okay to have saturated oils, but in moderation. Absolutely. So we looked up because they said it's certified mass balance palm, palm oil. oil. So we didn't know what that was. So we looked it up and what does it say, Gloria? And what it says is mass palm oil, there is no way to verify or to authenticate the palm oil. And what we found was a picture and this picture says you take RSPO certified uh, plantations, which is what the palm oil is. Then you put non-certified plantations right into it. You put them to into a transporter and you mix them up. And then they go through the refiner process. And when they come out, they appear to be 100% RSPO certified. Appear to be. Appear. So just be careful. I mean, I know the babies are cute. I was weak. I bought some too. So just be careful as you're out and about because it is Girl Scout cookie time. And the other quick thing I want to talk about palm oil is that they get it from the rainforest and it's affecting a lot of the animals. It's, it's, do, it's deforestation, that's what they call it. Right. So it's not good for the rainforest and for the animals in the rainforest. Right. Um, you know, we always start off our show talking about Ellen, and Ellen is changing lives. And uh, Rosetta found this, uh, or she actually saw one of the Ellen shows where it was talking about a teacher. So why yes, don't you? Yes, I'd love to explain this. Ellen, thank you so much for all you do again. Yes. We really appreciate you highlighting some of the heroes and some of the great people in this nation of ours and we're glad you're back yes. we missed you we missed you from last week i mean the people you had were great but we miss you so this one is a story about a gentleman he's a teacher and his name is and i couldn't quite understand but i think it's azel bracker and he is a teacher in a title one school with 350 kids he teaches students pre-k to kindergarten and as I mentioned, there's 350 kids. And what he was highlighted for and what Ellen brought him on the show for was that he actually spent time and he got them a pampering day, which meant that he allowed them to get their hair and nails done. And they showed pictures of the kids getting their hair done. How cool. And they were so happy and so, cause you know, he wanted to do this because they don't get that usually and he actually contacted his network of people that he knew and asked them if they'd be willing to do this for the 350 students. So he came on and surprisingly, Ellen brought onto the show three of the kids. It was so cute, they're very young, I'm not sure how old they are, but three of them and Ellen was asking them, so what is it that you like about your teacher? And they were saying that he's nice and he, he makes us happy and he does all sorts of things and what we found out from this little discussion that Ellen had with the teacher is that he actually had $7,000 and he has a bad car and he needs to get that fixed. But instead of fixing the car, what he did was he used that $7,000 to open up a foundation for the kids. Nice. So he put other people first, he put his children first. Nice. And he treats his students as his own kids because he mentions that he goes to all their games and even on the weekends, he does some things with the kids on the weekends, like he'll invite them to Dave and Buster's and Aww. he treats them all like family. So as you know, in usual kindness manner, what Ellen does is she is so 
touched by what he does. He gives back. And a lot of times, as you know, teachers spend their own yes. money. Yes, a lot. Yes, a lot of their money. So what she did was she said, yes, because you spent that 7000 on opening up a foundation, we're going to give you a free Hyundai car. Wow. So he's so happy and shocked. And she goes, let's go over and see the car. And the kids jump over with him and everything. And she goes, this is for you giving back. And it's so great. It's so spacious. And why don't you go and look in the, the trunk? The trunk is really spacious as well. So right. take a look. Then he goes back to the trunk and he opens it. And what does he see? $20,000. Wow. It says 20000 And that's for his foundation. That's excellent. So see? this, yes. Yeah, so you see what goes around comes, comes around. around and Ellen is the first person to yes. recognize these people that usually don't get you know much recognition absolutely and thank you so much yes Azel Bracker for doing all you do we really really appreciate that because kids nowadays need a lot of love and a great mentor and hero to look up to absolutely and that's one of the stories. And another story is one that Gloria is going to talk about, which is amazing as well. Yes. Um, on February 13th, Ellen had a couple on her show. And what the husband did is he would sing to his wife uh, prior to her going into the hospital to have brain surgery. Um, we will put a link down below so that you can check it out. It was just so heartwarming. Um, because they went through the, I guess he posted him singing to her, it went viral or somehow Ellen saw it. So he, um, she has her surgery, her brain surgery, and he tells her the Ellen show called and she's like, what? So she tells the people in the hospital, you need to do what you have to do because I have to go to Ellen because Ellen called. So Ellen had invited them yeah. on the call. And she's like, I am not gonna pass this opportunity to get to meet Ellen. So they come on the show and it's beautiful and it's touching as you can imagine because that's how Ellen rolls. And what happens is um, Ellen was just, she was just taken aback because number one, for a young lady to have undergone brain surgery, she looked amazing. And what she did is half of her head has these beautiful designs carved in it because she shaved her whole head. And the other side was still thin because they had to, you know, shave it completely because that's where the brain surgery actually occurred. And she was like, I'm just excited to be here and I'm grateful to be here. And um, so Ellen says, well, you know, for all you do, we have a little message for you from Dwayne Wade. And so he then expresses to them how their open, honest communication, supporting all that they're doing, gave him and his family a little bit of a boost because of what they're going through with their transgender son, you know, becoming a young girl. She doesn't want to be referred to as he anymore. She is she, her. So, um, Dwayne went on to talk a little bit about, you know, how impressed he is with them. And at the conclusion of his talk, he tells them to keep on believing. And I thought that was very strong and impactful. So Ellen gives the couple some flowers and Valentine's Day candy, a little heart shape. And the, the wife, she's really cute. She goes, this is a heavy box of candy. And <laughs> Ellen takes the ribbon off and she opens it and it's $25,000 just to help them out with what they're going through. That is what I love about Ellen. I mean, I just can't imagine. Her heart has to just swell. She probably, that's why she's taking time off because she has to, you know, just kind of take a deep breath and, and it's relax. Always, she always says for her, it's the giving. Yes. That's very rewarding for her just to see the people receiving so much love and all the kindness that she gives yes i mean it's so fulfilling for her to do that to give and a lot of times it is better to give than receive absolutely it really is and she shows yeah. us this every day so ellen we love you and we still want to come and see you we would love to be guests on your 2020 12 days of christmas i tell you you don't even have to give me the gifts I just want to sit there and watch the people because when you watch the show from home, they are just so explosive. 
You know, I think that would just be beautiful. That would be nice just to meet you because yes. I've been to your studio, but it wasn't filming at that time at the Warner Brothers Studios. But yeah, it would be very nice to meet you because we want to grow up and be like Ellen. Yes, we do. We want to be able to give and just keep on giving. Um, so yesterday, or I think it was yesterday, Sharon Osborne. Yes, uh, it was yesterday. I brought think. out her yes. new look. Now, as you know, Sharon, you know, she's had like this bright red hair color for years. Well, she is now known as the Silver Fox. And we will put the link for you below so that you can check out she her new She came dude. out, they debuted her, Kerry and Anaba debuted her and said, look at Sharon Osborne's new look. And she came out and she was a silver fox. Yes. Now I want to know, what do you think, Gloria, of women that uh, don't want to dye their hair anymore and become just natural or silver fox? Well, from an organic perspective, I truly understand um, because whenever I would go to a salon to get my hair done and we'd be sitting in there and some young child of 20 years old would walk in the door and say they want their hair stripped and turn gray. And the hairdressers, they're like, okay, fine, have a seat. Um, and I'm like, why would you want to do that before your time? It's going to do it naturally. Right. And then I remember when um, Sharon Osborne's daughter had a problem with her hair. I mean, I think Kelly was in her 20s and she was already turning gray. And so that's when she started with different hair colors. And the one I love the most, as you can imagine, was the lavender, because I love lavender and purple. <laughs> yes, you do. And she did a lavender gray combo, and I thought it was just beautiful. So, you know, because we have to be our own advocates, if you're going to do coloring, I would say read the label, read the label, read the label. And my take on that is, yes, you're right. Younger and younger kids are now like getting their hair into that silver color. Yeah. My personal opinion for people that do it, I mean, it's great, but sometimes it makes you look older than you are. If you're young, why not stay young and look young? Maybe they're doing it also to get in the club. Uh, not sure, maybe. maybe. It could be one reason they're you doing know, it. Fake ID, yeah. gray hair. It could be, however, <laughs> that's my opinion. I find that when I see someone that's young, you can tell they're young, but yes. with the silver hair, it just, it just ages throws them. It, off. it throws it off and makes yeah. you look older than you are. <laughs> Please don't age yourself any any more any than faster. you need to. Don't, Trust me. Not premature it's aging. It's coming. Yes. <laughs> um, on a kind of sad note, um, we were talking about the Girl Scouts, so we're going to give the Boy Scouts equal time. They just filed for bankruptcy. This is a 110-year-old 110 institution. And the reason that they're having to do it is because of the young boys are being abused by some of the scout leaders. And I just think that is just so sad. This is 2020. There has to be a way to uh, vest these teachers, these instructors. Um, everything is on the internet. Everything is accessible. They've got to look at their practices because it would be a shame if the Boy Scouts went away because we're just at the point of becoming Scouts where if a young girl wants to join the Boy Scouts, she can. If they're already abusing little boys, I don't think it's safe for little girls right yeah. now. And there's hundreds of lawsuits that are being filed for that. Yeah which is really, really sad because you never hear this in the Girl no. Scouts. Nothing like this in the Girl Scouts. No. And that could be quite easily done. Thank you very much for, for the Girl Scouts for not getting into that, but it's right. so sad. But they're still saying that the programs are still going on. However, it is like Gloria said, there are girls that are allowed into the Boy Scouts, yes. which I did not know of. Yes. And I'm very concerned. I'm kind of scared for them. Well, see, my son, um, the highest level of Boy Scout is a classification called an Eagle. Yes. My son is an Eagle. And he, I mean, I cried like a two-year-old when he got his badge. That's a huge <laughs> accomplishment. <laughs> yes, it really is. And that's why little girls, because in the Girl Scout, there's no badge like that. And so that was one of the draws. So moms, dads, just be careful what units you join, do your background, and make sure that you stay on top of your daughters. 
Yes. Okay. On um, Monday, it's going to be a day of um, celebration of life for Kobe and his daughter, That's Gigi. Right. Um, it's going to be at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. And the reason they're doing Monday is it's 2 slash 24. 2 for Gia, uh, I mean Gianna, which is, we all knew her as Gigi, because that's all I ever heard was Gigi. And 24 for Kobe, which was his um, number. So I'm sure that's going to be very, very touching, and it has got to be... I don't know how Vanessa's going to make it through. So we send our love and prayers to her. I think she's her. a strong lady. I, I know she's a strong through. lady. The thing that I, I I don't understand is they're selling tickets. This is not a concert event. Um, and I'm sure that the money will be taken and given to charity. I just think it would have been a lot better if they had figured out another way. Like they should. What I think they should have done is by invite only. Yes. And... Because well, they are. Uh, they're they're sending emails to people for them to then take that and to be able to get the ticket. But they still have to buy the ticket. Yeah, they have to buy. Well, it. I don't. Yeah, so that's what. Yeah, yeah. So, so I understand are. where you're coming from, but yeah. I was saying, invite only like a wedding. Invite the people that were close to Kobe mm -hmm. and the family, or friends and family of the right. of yes, friends and family and even of the fans. Family. Yes. Like say, you know, the people because those tickets right along the border, you know, what they call on the floor. You know, those are expensive seats. And if there are people who love the Lakers, you know, they're like what they call super fans, you know, something I'm sure they like would be that. willing to purchase the yes. tickets. But for the majority, they should do invite only. Then no one has to pay for it. Right. And like you said, the fans, if they want, they have the option of buying it. Yes. I think that's a great way to do it. Yeah. I'm also wondering, like, because it's on Monday, do you think it'll be televised? I'm pretty sure it's... Um... I'm sure if there is a way, they will televise it. Because outside the Staples Center, <laughs> I bet it's going to be standing room only. It may be... Yes, it will be standing room only. And I'm thinking, like, they might have cameras inside yes. so that it projects outside yes, sort to of the like, people. You know, Michael that, Jackson's service right, where... Right, right you know we got to see some of it sure. and, yeah. yes yes i think that's how it's going to be so our thoughts and prayers are with vanessa and her daughters and everyone in los angeles for the loss we're very very and i will be checking out to see if it's going to be televised yes absolutely um well where did you what do what do we say the coronavirus I have a, a few friends that, I mean, I was laughing so hard I could barely breathe. They said that, you know, if you're Asian and you sneeze, they go, people like lean away from you. They run from you. Um, everybody's wearing those masks, but the things they don't realize, those masks don't do anything. They don't protect um, you from getting the virus. Right. They just protect you if you have some kind of illness or you got right. a cough and cold it stops that from spreading to other people right or like if you like say you um shake someone's hand because they say we touch our face a thousand like a thousand times so they're saying that in that respect you, you won't be putting hand well, to, i to think you mouth. will still catch it anyway oh. because you're not you need to wash your hands they're saying so one of the things that i found very interesting uh the first time we talked about it there was a couple on the uh diamond princess and they had a nice room they had a balcony room and the wife was under the weather and then she got better and then her husband got sick and um she had her cell phone and she was like his temperature is a 103 they uh shared that they had food um they would hang the food on the door and they'd knock on the door initially they just open the door and take the food then they had to yes. put mask on to get the food um her husband unfortunately has pneumonia now so it, it has, uh, you know, yes, evolved right. into something. Um, there are people who were uh, flown back to the United States. The last 14 people that were uh, taken off the ship and sent home, one of those individuals that they, they don't let you off of the ship unless you've been clean for 14 days, now has the coronavirus. So um, they're doing all kinds of things to try and find solutions to help people um, just be as observant as you can be if you don't feel good go and find out what's going on my question is there's all these people on the ship right and for the 
last 14 days they've been on the ship like you said some people have not at the beginning when they were um quarantined right they did not have the coronavirus i'm wondering what happened how did they get the coronavirus in between like and me and my husband were talking and it's really sad because the crew members they are bunked up with other crew members and if yeah. they have the coronavirus there's nothing they can do right they're going to spread it to other yeah. crew members and as we both we're cruisers we love to cruise as we know um if if you have like an inside cabin that and what that means is that you just see your room you have no window no visibility all you have is the air conditioning and heating unit in your room if that virus is airborne you, you can't help but get it because you're not going to get pure circulated air so that could be maybe what how they got it between the time that they first were right were incubated to right. now that's why there's so many more and i actually have these stats on this because it's really important to to share with you like it's crazy the corona 88 yes. new cases of the coronavirus just confirmed aboard that diamond princess and that's the only um princess cruise that cruises around japan the diamond princess right um out of the diamond line cruise the diamond i mean sorry the princess cruise ships right but um 88 new cases i mean that's crazy that's right 88 new cases yeah. And as Gloria said, 14 of the U.S. evacuated, tested for positive for the disease, and they went into isolation. There are other, I've been watching some YouTube videos of people, even a lady that got diagnosed recently, she's Canadian. Right. And the Canadians are not being taken off the ship. The Canadians are a bit slow to jump on to the, to the, um, to coming to rescue them. Right. So we're not sure what's happening with that. So that's kind of sad it's so there's two planes that came to um, right get the to pick um, them up to pick them up the u.s people but the canadians they haven't done anything on that yeah yeah i mean it is and there's something that's afoot we're going to do a little more research and we'll share that with you next week they're saying that the coronavirus in silicon valley where we live is spiking prices of homes um homes are being listed and they are selling for 30 to 40 percent higher than list now before the coronavirus hit there was a shortage of properties i have friends who are realtors and they're like you know normally we would have like 1500 listings in january and right now we got 700 so it was low so how did we go from low to 30 to 40 percent above list so I'm going to do some more checking and then we'll get back to you on that and let you know what we find out. Yeah, that would be nice to find out more information about that. And yes. More people are wanting to stay put. Yes. Um, and not move around. Sure. Um, so Maria Shriver, um, you, I hope you recognize the name. She is a beautiful woman. She is um, a Kennedy by birth and she was married to Arnold Schwarzenegger for a while. Well, she launched a new, um, uh, I guess you could say, let's call it a blog. So she launched this new offering and she called it Sunday Papers. And she, it's all about bringing more positivity, more love, more connections into the world. Because as we all know, everywhere we go is just negativity on top of negativity. So one of the things that she, put out as a suggestion was, you know, um, in your neighborhoods, just invite the people around you to come over and hang out. So this one lady, she invited a couple of her friends and she put the invite out in her area where she lived. I think the first time there were like, you know, two or three, the next time there were 12. She's up to 60 individuals now and it's gotten so large that she has had to rent like space and a hall for them to get together for their little connections. One of the beautiful things about this is a person saw this because once you do your Sunday meals, whatever, she asks you to, you know, like um, take a picture and post it to Sunday paper so that other people can see. This process is so big right now that the initial Sunday paper 
process, I think they had 1,600 positions. Those are all full. So now they have a backlog list of people who want to participate. And she's like, don't worry about it. Start your own. Just reach out to people because it's about the connections. And one of the things I love about it is it's all about community. So one of the ladies flew in from another state to check it out because she couldn't believe it. And she loved it. And she was like, you can feel the positivity when you're just in the room with these people. There was a lady that just connected online because she was out of state. She was going through, uh, she's getting ready to have surgery for cancer. The people in this room, uh, three of the ladies flew to where she was to be there with her as she went through surgery and to be there at the initial phases when you're coming and out. And she didn't even know them. They didn't know each other. No. This is just people helping people. Like Ellen always says, be kind to, to one, one another. another. That's what Maria Shriver is trying to do. Yes. Let's highlight the good things that people do in yes. their lives. Yes. And not highlight the all bad the things. All the negativity going around, all the bad things that the news is bringing up. Let's do something good and create positivity in our own communities. Absolutely. Start, it starts from the home. Absolutely. And that's what it's all about. Good for you, Maria Shriver. Yes. We are very, very proud of you. It, it's, it's, it's what we need. You know, um, Rosetta and I, we were talking, we have got to get moms to take control of their children and their children's life. Make them put down those devices, have them get out into the world and experience people. You know, if we do nothing else, when you go out to dinner, it's like, huh, give me your phone, give me your phone, give me your phone. Put the phones, turn them off, put them in your purse, and just have family time together. Time is very, very precious, and we have to stay focused. It's important for that. Yeah, very, yes. very important. So it has been wonderful talking to you. We've got lots and lots and lots and more to share. However, we're sticking to our normal timeline, so... We wanted to thank you very much for checking us out once yeah, again. And we had a lot of good conversation about different yes. topics. And we really do, as Laurie said, appreciate you checking in and listening, tuning in to our chats. Yes. And I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but I'll mention it again as usual. Please hit the thumbs up if you like our chats. Subscribe below, hit the bell button for notifications so you don't miss any of our chats. Right. We would love for you to subscribe. Yes. Yes, that would be great. Yes. And don't forget, you're always welcome to give feedback and comment on anything that we've talked about, any of the topics. If you want us to discuss anything, then go ahead and do that below. Or if you have like, if you're local to Silicon Valley and you know us or you'd like to just email us or shoot us a message, you know, if you have a tea shop or something you'd like us to visit, we'd love to highlight your store. Absolutely. We'd love to come and uh, talk about the teas that you're offering. Yes. We'd like to do that because if we're yes. local, we'll do the best we can. Absolutely. And a shout out to Viviana Campbell, who I was just having a conversation with last week. And she was, I love you and Rosetta. And I was like, huh? So I know one of the persons that's I know watching Viviana us. Campbell. Thanks, yes. Viviana, for checking us out. Yes. And we appreciate your support. Yes. So again, thank you everyone. And remember to, to always keep, keep smiling. smiling. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.